I'm Lance Nasio. I've been a commercial fisherman for 11 years. This boat here was built in 2000. It was a traditional ice boat. We stayed an ice boat up until two years ago and, and we did this freezer and I think it's probably one of the best investments I've ever made. If the fishing's not good, we just wait to where if you go out with ice, once you put the first shrimp on board, you, you start on a clock. And the traditional way they unloaded it, it heats up and then they gotta try and get it back cold again. And what we do is once we harvest it, we get it cold and we keep it cold until it's frozen. It allows us to have a little breathing room and allows us to sell our product to whoever we choose and not just to one dock. The prices fell after 2000, so what we did was we started to do direct marketing, networked with different organizations and found avenues that we could sell our shrimp for a price that we can afford to fish. We do a farmer's market in Baton Rouge and uh, been a part of the White Boot Brigade since it started and in this industry we have to change with the times. This thing here has been probably by far one of the best investments I ever made on this boat was this deck freezer here. Seven shelves in it and it holds uh, roughly a thousand fifty pounds of shrimp at a time. But we just load it as we catch shrimp and then we stage it into our holding freezer down below. This here is a minus forty freezer hole where we store the shrimp. And this process all takes place while we harvest the shrimp. You know, we do it all out on the water and just me and one man can handle whatever volume comes across the deck. It's uh, not as hard as people think what we're doing. And the lower the number, the bigger the shrimp it is. This is a box of 1015s. What we do with these smaller shrimp is we package them in 30 pound boxes. What that does is it helps us to use less packaging and we could also fit more shrimp in the boat. And it goes into a liner and into the box. And this is what's called a shatter pack. These shrimp aren't frozen in water so they can be individually taken apart. And then we fold up the bag, try and keep the air out of it. The box has a lock on it to keep it closed and that's ready to go in the freezer. This is the, the frozen product. And as you can see, it looks just like we put it in there. But these shrimp, you know, they, they come apart real easily. There's a lot of people who's allergic to sodium bisulfite, so we don't use any sulfites at all whatsoever on this boat. Yeah, all the preservatives that we use are natural. One which is called uh, Everfresh, and another one we use is called Xyrex. And they don't even have to be listed on the product. And for a wholesale level, where they're gonna go out and resale it again, uh, you almost need to put something on it because melanosis is, is, is a common problem in, in uh, shrimp. It's, uh, it's black spots. We need more fishermen doing what I do to where we can create a pool of resources to go out there and market and sell the product you know, on a higher level. At first, a lot of them were skeptical. They didn't think we can do all what we're doing. And now, you know, you got a lot of them looking at us thinking it would be really nice to do, be able to do what we do, you know. Because we have control of the product. We don't, we're not at no one's mercy. Right here, we have a, an unloading dock that unloads oysters, and it's pretty damaged. But behind it is an ice house. And, you know, when these ice houses uh, shut down, they're less likely to rebuild because there's not the money in the industry there once was. Most of these fishermen are relying upon docks to get ice to where us with this freezer, we, we actually went out between uh, Gustav and Ike. You know, all we need is fuel and water and this boat's good to go. You know, what we're doing here is we're thinking outside the box and we're using new technologies and, you know, we're just making the changes that it takes to stay in business. People think that, that the industry is over and I think we have a bright future in the industry if people are willing to change and accept change. We just need to figure out how to capture and treasure the resource. And that's what we've been able to do with this freezer.